Good evening, everyone, and welcome to RMG Fridays Focused. My name is Carla Sinclair, and I am the RMG Fridays coordinator here at the Robert McLaughlin Gallery, and pleased to be your host for this evening. We encourage you to reflect on the history of the land that you are watching from. The Robert McLaughlin Gallery is located on the lands and territory of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island First Nation a branch of the great Anishinaabeg Nation, including Algonquin, Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi. We are grateful to work on this land. I would also like to mention that it is Treaty Recognition Week. The treaties that govern the territory of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island are the Williams Treaties. And I encourage those of you joining us from across the region, province, and country to learn about the treaty that governs your territory. With the well-being of the public in mind, and in light of the continued limitations on public gatherings, RMG Fridays Focused is online with the goal of making this event accessible to as many people as possible. Tonight's lineup includes musical performances by Sasha and Rory Talon, a fun photography activity and contest, RMG Focused awards presentation, and a virtual tour of our current photography exhibition, Aberrations. Live auction updates will also be provided throughout the event, and it's a great opportunity for us to come together and celebrate both photography and our vibrant arts community. All proceeds from our silent auction go towards funding free programming at the RMG, making art more accessible to children, youth, and adults. You can register for the online auction by visiting rmgfridaysfocused.com. And next up, I'd like to welcome Gallery CEO Lauren Gould to share a message from the RMG. We're so thrilled you're all joining us from the comfort of your homes this evening. I hope you're all dressed to the nines and ready to celebrate. We hope to bring you some moments of pure joy tonight. I am thrilled to have joined the RMG this year. I'm both humbled and honored to be leading the gallery along such side a brilliant and resilient team of individuals who've put together a beautifully engaging program for you this evening. When we reframed our annual fundraiser exposed into focused, because really this isn't the year that anybody wants to be exposed, we did so considering what we wanted to be focused on artists, our community, and raising funds to continue to work to support artists engaging with our community. Of course, with our rose-colored glasses back in April, we had hoped to see you all in person. But caring for our community also means helping to keep everyone healthy and safe. I want to sincerely thank our presenting sponsors for coming together to support a renewed vision for this event. RBC Royal Bank, RBC Wealth Management, Dominion Securities, and Mendham Wealth Management. This group has funded this event for a number of years, but really stepped up this year, sponsoring the RMG at their highest level yet. Thank you. We've also received tremendous in-kind support from Durham Region International Film Festival and Empty Cup Media, who have made the live stream and recorded content possible tonight. Thank you. To our in-kind sponsor, Smokestack, and our community partners who've contributed to those wonderful party boxes, All or Nothing Brewhouse and Distillery, Isabella's, Matilda's, and DJ Linz and Co. It was important to the entire team that we do as much as possible to support our local and downtown businesses with this event, and I encourage you all to do the same. Lastly, the most important thank yous to our jurors and to the artists who submitted work and were selected for the Fine Art Photography Auction. We're thrilled by the caliber, caliber of work this event continues to attract, and to you all for supporting the RMG with your tremendous talent. Over the past few months, the board and staff teams have been contemplating and planning for a reimagined RMG. We collectively want a world that is better than the normal so many people talk about returning to. We envision a world that is equitable, socially just, fueled by culture, and that supports artists as important navigators of our times. To do this, we need your support. Whether that's by signing up as a member in our new membership program, which can mean an opportunity to tour our vaults, or bidding on works in the auction tonight, we hope you'll join our growing community of supporters. I feel a great sense of duty to steward the RMG as it continues to forge change through connection and creativity, and I'm truly hopeful about the future. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to share our program with you tonight. Thank you, Lauren. We can look forward to later tonight when the award winners of RMG Focused will be announced, and we'll have the opportunity to hear from members of the jury. First up on the stage tonight with an exclusive performance for RMG Fridays Focused is a Canadian country singer-songwriter. Originally from Montreal, she grew up in the small town of Warkworth, Ontario. She has become a positive feminine force on Canada's biggest stages, opening for an enviable list of Canadian country music elite, including Brett Kissel, Madeline Merlot, The Abrahams, and Terry Clark. 
As a black female Canadian country artist, this woman is a pioneer, fearlessly working toward equal representation for young women of all creeds and color to be deservedly embraced and included in the country music landscape of Canada. Her new EP, The Best Thing, was released on July 24th, and this new project takes viewers on a musical journey through life's unpredictable twists and turns. We are thrilled to have her be part of this exclusive RMG Fridays event. Please welcome to the stage, Sasha. called The Best Thing, and this song is for all you ladies out there to raise your voices high and keep your standards higher. This song's called Standards. I like a man with manners, he make his mama proud. He can't be manufactured, gotta come natural. And baby, ooh, that ain't you, it just ain't you. You come a sweet at first, but you got a sour side. You're like a fancy label stuck on some cheap wine. But baby, ooh, I see through, I see right through. Yes. 
Relationships are a risky business. Sometimes we're afraid to take the risk, we're afraid to take a chance. And what could have very well been the best thing that ever happened turns out to be the best thing that never happened. This song is called The Best Thing That Never Happened. All of these sad 
Amazing. Thank you, Sasha. Everyone, please give a warm round of applause for Sasha from the comfort of your living room and your couches or your beds or wherever you're hanging out tonight. Well, we've got another great set of music from Sasha coming up in a bit, but right now it's time to check in and see how we're making out with our silent auction fundraiser. Thank you. The bids keep going up, and the total funds raised so far are $4,100. Amazing! I've been witnessing some pretty fun bidding wars this week, and know people are really excited to have a chance to take these pieces home. Let's take a look at one of the auction works. Here we have Behind Pond, a wet plate collodion tintype by artist Shin He, who immigrated to Canada three years ago. With feelings of homesickness, he struggled with self-identity, and while living in a new environment, Shin He tried to evoke his memory of home. With marks of chemical stain and blurring edge, tintype can depict a sort of nostalgic emotion. He has exhibited his work at Lonsdale Gallery, Contact Photography Festival in Toronto, and most recently at Gallery 44. You can get a closer look at this and the rest of the auction works up for bid by visiting rmgfridaysfocus.com. Next up, we have an activity put together by the RMG's own Ingrid Forster, followed by more music from Sasha. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me this evening. My name is Ingrid and I'm the Communications and Digital Media Lead for the Robert McLaughlin Gallery. In this short segment tonight, I'm going to be talking to you about how to take better photographs using just a phone camera. I'll walk you through some tips, techniques, and also give you some editing suggestions to help enhance your images. Following that, we'll do a couple of short photo activities together and I'll let you know how you can participate in tonight's super fun photo contest. So be sure to stay tuned until the end of the segment. So camera phone technology has actually come a long way recently, and you can get quite a good photograph using just the device that you carry around with you every single day. Now, before all you photographers out there start throwing tomatoes at me, just hear me out. I'm a professional photographer and have been working in analog and digital formats for well over a decade. Actually, I've been making photographs since I was a kid and old enough to hold a camera. So all that to say, I've made a lot of photographs. And I can say with confidence that some of my favorite images are the ones I made using a camera phone. Why is that? Because the camera phone is what I had with me at the time. You don't always need the most expensive gear or the newest technology to make good photographs. Photography is about seeing things. It's about what you see and knowing when to press the shutter. Since most of you are tuning into this evening's fundraising event from home, we're going to be focusing on making photographs in an indoor setting in lower light situations. For this evening's photo activity, I'm going to be showing you some simple techniques and edits that you can use to make your indoor photographs more exciting. Let's get started. Since there are now a variety of smart devices out there, I won't be able to provide you instructions specific to each phone model, but you should be able to do all of the following on any current phone model with a camera on both iOS and Android devices. We'll be making two photos that you can easily replicate tonight during your RMG Fridays focused viewing party. A creative photo using a simple prop like your drink for the evening and a fun double exposure party photo using an image overlay. If you want to do more with your phone camera photos and get a bit more creative, then I recommend downloading some apps. Some of my favorites are Lightroom, Visco, Snapseed, Carbon, in Light and Photo Fox, Slow Shutter, Photo Blend, Fused, and Image Blender. Most of these apps have a free version with in app purchase or upgrade options, while others require a paid subscription. For this evening, we'll be using Visco and Snapseed, which can be downloaded for free and are available for both iOS and Android. All of the image samples in this activity are photos that were made on an iPhone using these apps. Three key elements of any photograph are light, composition, and subject matter, no matter what kind of camera you're using. Light is literally essential to photography, but learning how to use light to add depth, shape, contrast, and mood to a photograph will help you create a more compelling image. 
Light can sometimes be the difference between a flat and dull looking photo and a more arresting image. Think about using light to add depth and interest to a portrait. In this case, the subject is moved slightly to look out of an open window. A few simple lighting, composition, and editing choices turns a quick snapshot into a more considered portrait. Pay attention to the eyes. Light reflection in the eyes, called catch light, can really enhance and bring interest to the face. You can also play with light in many different ways. Think about how you're composing your photograph before you press the shutter. After some time, your eyes and brain will begin to do this automatically. A simple technique is to think about where you're placing the subject or point of interest in your frame. A good composition can make a big difference. In this case, think about placing your subject somewhere else inside the frame besides right in the middle. If you need some help, you might think about using something called the Rule of Thirds. The Rule of Thirds is a guideline that proposes that a scene be viewed as divided into nine equal parts, with two equally spaced horizontal and vertical lines. Important subjects or compositional elements can be placed along these lines or at their intersections to enhance the overall composition. You definitely don't need to live by the rule of thirds, and it doesn't apply to everything, but it can be helpful when you're looking for a different kind of composition. Most smart device cameras come with a grid that can be turned on, which can make using this rule a little easier and can also help with perspective. Purchasing a small phone camera tripod can also be useful for many situations. I really like ones that have flexible legs that you can bend and wrap around things. Subject matter is obviously a personal choice. What is meaningful to one person might not be for another. It's quite easy though to start snapping away without putting much thought or effort into the image you're making. Prevent yourself from falling into this trap by taking some time to stop and think before you press the shutter. The first photo we're going to make is a fun party photo using an image overlay edit to make it look like a double exposure. First, let's take two different photographs. They can be of your family member, friend, date, dog, or whatever you feel represents the evening. If you purchase the party box, you might consider using some of the party props inside. Now, let's edit and combine them. Open the Visco app after taking the photos and import them. Now select the first photo you want to edit and try applying a filter. I've selected Agva Vista 400 from the film pack. I'm going to adjust the exposure a little to lighten up the image. And then I'll switch it to a 3 by 2 aspect ratio from its original 4 by 3. I'm going to crop it a little tighter and adjust the white balance ever so slightly. Now I'm going to use the option to copy the edits from this image and paste them on the other one. Note that this paste doesn't include cropping, so you'll need to do this manually. I'll now export and save both images to my camera roll. Next, I'll open the Snapseed app and select the option to open an image. I'll select one of my edited images as the base and then select the double exposure option from the editing menu. I'll then be able to go into my camera roll and select the second image. It will automatically place and overlay the image for you. You can then make some adjustments. Adjust the opacity, and select from six overlay blend options. I prefer the default option. Now I'm ready to export and save my final image. For the next photo, we're going to play around with using different available lighting and some props to make the drinks we're having this evening look a little bit more interesting. Adding some side lighting completely changes the look of this photo, makes the colors pop, and also makes the beer look more refreshing. I used a bedside lamp tilted on its side. 
Now let's break it down a little more. I've opened up my camera to the portrait mode setting. This setting should be available on most smart device cameras. I've selected the option to adjust the aperture, which although fake and somewhat limited on a camera phone, allows you to control the appearance of the depth of field. I'm using a smaller F number here to soften the background just a little. Now I'll pop the light on. I'll adjust the angle of light for a different effect. This is a really simple lighting technique anyone can try at home. Just grab a table lamp or even a flashlight and of course your beer. Let's try something a little different. I've placed a string of small lights behind the beer glass for a different look. Or maybe you're having a cocktail instead. You can of course do this with any drink in a glass and it doesn't need to be alcoholic. Now I'll take a few photos and play around with the depth of field adjustment again to soften the background lights. By turning on the side lamp and adjusting the angle slightly towards the wall, I brightened up the image overall and created some really nice shadows. Adding a few layers to the image like the drink in the foreground, the string of lights behind, and the plant against the wall automatically gives the image more depth. Now that I'm happy with the photograph, I'll do a few simple edits in Visco to complete the image. First, I'll select the filter. I've chosen one called Hype Beast 2. Then, I'll adjust the exposure slightly because the filter darkened the image. I'll crop it slightly and use the HSL module. HSL allows you to control the hue, saturation, and lightness of colors in an image. In this case, I'll select orange so I can enhance the color of the whiskey in the glass. Notice when I adjust the hue, it shifts to be either more red or more yellow. I'm now ready to export the image and save it to my camera roll. Here are the two photos again. Hey again, welcome back, and thanks so much for following along. I hope you picked up a few new things that you can apply the next time you take your phone out to make a photograph. Now, let me tell you about this evening's photo contest. Since things are a little different this year and we aren't able to gather in person, we're asking you, our audience, to help us capture this evening's festivities and to tell the story of RMG Fridays Focused. Participating in this contest is super easy. For this evening's contest, we'll be selecting one winner who will receive a beautiful photo print made by an artist from our previous juried photo competition, as well as a gift card from Henry's camera valued at $50. Participating is easy. Just select one of the images you've made at home throughout this evening's virtual event. You can recreate one of the photos we made in the activity, or you can come up with something entirely different. Have fun and be creative. Post your photo on social media and use the hashtag RMGFridaysFocusedContest. If you aren't on social media, you can email us your entry. Then, watch for your image to appear on our live feed at RMGFridaysFocus.com. All entries must be in by 9.45 p.m. to be considered, and a winner will be announced at the very end of the evening. Thanks so much, and have fun. We're going to throw it back here. Well, he was 17. You know what I mean. And the way he looked was beyond compare. So how could I think?
So this next song is for all you fellas out there. When you're taking a lady out on a date, there could be a lot of pressure. So this is to take a little bit of the pressure off. Sometimes you wonder, should I buy her a bouquet of roses? Should I rent a car? Or should I spend a lot of money? <laughs> but if you're taking me out, I don't need a fancy car Oh, if I force me with a champagne bar I ain't high class Don't need to get down like that We can throw a blanket on a silver auto truck there Dust off homemade a bottle of red Take it to the country we can lay low Get back to some throwback country Gonna call it a head Save us a spot Cause I know a place where everyone's not No better view Wonder the moon than looking at you On the table too Who needs five stars When there's a million more Right where we are I'm just laid back in these jeans and a baseball cap will throw a blanket on a silver on a truck bed dust off a homemade bottle of red take it to the country we can lay low kick back to some throwback country going and calling ahead to save us a spot cause I know a place where everyone's not no better view under the moon looking at you Tell me for two Two And call it a head to save us a spot Cause I know a place where everyone's not yet Dust off homemade bottle of rain Get back to some throwback country go Blank it on a silver auto truck bed Dust off a homemade bottle of red Take it to the country we can lay low Get back to some throwback country Go and call it a head to save us a spot Cause I know a place where everyone's not No better view under the moon I'm looking at you oh, Tell me for
It's time to announce the award winners of the RMG focused fine art photography exhibition. We are fortunate to have an incredible jury who bring a wealth of knowledge and expertise to the table. A big thank you to Jennifer Bedford, Jonathan Gronwag, and Matthew Kaiba for during the amazing work submitted to this year's competition. Here are a few words from our team of jurors on the work selected for the auction this year. Hey there, this is curator at the Visual Arts Centre of Clarington. Uh, I was really excited to join the uh, jury team this year to um, jury some fantastic photography works in the Exposed exhibition. Hey everybody, Jonathan Grunaway here, one of this year's RMG Exposed competition jurors. My name is Jennifer Bedford and I'm one of the jurors for this year's photography contest and fundraiser in support of the Robert McLaughlin Gallery. I want to say congratulations to all the artists that that um, submitted. It was a very, very tough choice, uh, especially the, the top three. I wanted to take a quick second to thank everybody who submitted uh, and extend a special congratulations to all of those selected as finalists. It was by no means an easy feat to call down all of the submissions into the final selection of 40 uh, for this year, but I think it goes without saying that there is an amazing selection of artwork to uh, choose from. There's a certain quality um, with the submissions this year that I think we were all very impressed at. We tried to select work that would encourage the audience to consider the meaning behind each photograph. And as a juror, I was astounded by the breadth and quality of the submissions this year. The, the winners really did uh, set themselves apart um, just with the subject matter, you know, the minute details they really took into consideration. Photographic art is powerful, not just for its beauty or the talent that's needed for its creation, but because it can evoke emotion, it can tell stories. Photographic art can make political statements or challenge preconceived ideas about the world we live in today. Sorry we can't all meet in, in person, but thanks again for inviting me. Um, I've been really lucky to participate in this event uh, in just about every capacity over the last seven years, from a silent auction contributor to a competition winner, live auction contributor, a jury member, a sponsor through my business, Smokestack, and even as a buyer. Um, I know it's disappointing that we can't meet in person this year and celebrate all of the artists and artwork and uh, you know meet and have a good time, uh, but let's all make great choices over the next coming months, uh, stay healthy, and hopefully in 2021, we'll see you all back at the RMG for another great event. Take care. Thank you so much, Jennifer, Jonathan, and Matthew. It's an honor to now share the winners for RMG Focus 2020. The jurors awarded an honorable mention to Gilles Terre Biscuit for Pure Photography 5, a striking work that explores the relationship between man and machine, prompting the viewer to think about digital technologies in a different way. What do we create in the digital space? I love how this photograph makes us think differently about image making. His work has been exhibited internationally in France, Germany, Greece, Japan, and the Netherlands. Congratulations on this honorable mention, Jill. Our second runner-up tonight is Caroline Chen for Ode to Georgia O'Keeffe, another work that challenges what we might conventionally think of when we think of photography. When glacial meltwater feeds, in, feeds its rivers in the summer in Iceland, it creates a mint green color with sediments that give it a milky quality. The result is an image that looks like one of an abstracted flower, an ode to renowned artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Chang is an award-winning photographer whose work is held in private collections and has been shown by the Art Gallery of Hamilton and National Geographic. Congratulations, Carolyn. And now for our first runner-up, awarded to Lindsay Kemp for her colorful photograph, First Flora. The vibrancy of this image is wonderfully startling. To me, it feels like the brightest early autumn day before the first frost, when the late summer flowers are still in bloom. 
Kemp forages plant matter indigenous to the Niagara region, presses them, and photographs them as specimens, and the result is beautiful. Kemp is a multidisciplinary artist who infuses her passion for plant identification with her talent for photography. She's shown her work nationally and internationally, and is editor for the contemporary photography blog, I Am Alive. Check it out. Congratulations to Lindsay. And our grand prize winner, Joyce Crago, for her work, Warren Brown. Now, I'm not on the jury and have absolutely no influence on the outcome, but when I first saw this work, I caught my breath. The intensity of sorrow, the feeling of hanging on to these physical belongings of someone, and the brilliant colors contrasting with the black background, as the love we feel for someone is in such stark contrast with a feeling of loss. It was only after I read the artist's statement that I understood this was exactly Crago's intention after the unexpected death of her sister in 2018. Crago's work has been featured in numerous exhibitions and publications, and her work can be found in private collections across Canada and in the City of Ottawa Art Collection. Our huge congratulations to you, Joyce. And finally, our Youth Award. The Oshawa community recently lost someone who really understood the value of accessibility to arts programming, Dennis O'Connell. In his honour, a scholarship to our camps and this evening's Youth Award have been established in his name. I'm thrilled to announce the inaugural winner of the Dennis O'Connell Youth Award, Eileen DeVries, work Maria Rita Berenicia. In her 2019 series, Perennials II, DeVries extracts moments from art history and to recognize the space women occupied and owned. Perennials II is a representation of the endless search for the underrepresented voices in art history and the canon. DeVries is an artist and garden keeper currently completing her master's degree at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago in Visual and Critical Studies. She clearly has a brilliant artistic future and we wish her the very best. Congratulations, Eileen. To mark the naming of this award, we would like to share a few words with you from Dennis's daughter, Zoe Barton, here to speak about the Youth Award in honor of her father. Good evening. My name is Zoe, daughter of the late Dennis O'Connell. This is the first year the Dennis O'Connell Youth Award, an award given to a young emerging photographer who shows tremendous talent and promise as an artist, will be presented. My dad was a longtime supporter of programming for children and youth at the RMG and a passionate supporter and advocate of arts and culture. My dad passed in June from a short battle with cancer. As a family, we attended the RMG's fundraiser every year, where my dad would ensure all pieces have a healthy bid. He was notorious for writing more than one friend's name on the bid sheet at a hefty price, to their surprise. His commitment to the RMG went beyond that one night. He sat on the board of directors and always advocated for accessible arts programs, specifically for children in our community. He believed art programs should be accessible and not exclusive. This past summer, despite the challenge of COVID, RMG created inclusive programming with their Summer Box program, a program whereby children of our community received a box packed with art supplies, something my dad was very proud to support. Also, the RMG has been generous enough to fund the Dennis O'Connell Scholarship Fund in my dad's honour. He would have been very excited to have seen the young talent in our community thriving with this opportunity. Congratulations to tonight's recipient of the Dennis O'Connell Youth Award, on behalf of my family. Continue to further your love of the arts, get involved in your community, and share your passion. Thank you so much, Zoe. Your father has made such important contributions to the arts, and we are fortunate to have the opportunity for his legacy to live on. Congratulations to all of the award winners, and thank you to all contributing artists and jurors for supporting RMG Focus. What's up next on the lineup, Carla? So up next, we have a virtual exhibition tour of Aberrations, followed by the introduction of our next musical guest. Curated by Leela Timmons, Aberrations is an exhibition featuring photographs from the RMG's permanent collection. Enjoy the show. Aberrations is the first major exhibition at the Robert McLaughlin Gallery, dedicated to highlighting the wonderful range of photo-based work in our collection. Like many public galleries our size, our photography collections have not been given the same attention as other media, and the collecting histories have been relatively short. This exhibition is a celebration of our rich photography holdings, a 
and brings to light some never before seen gems from the collection. Divided into four sections, Strange Secrecy, Trick Mirror, Shifting Ground, and Ordering the World, these categories act as guideposts to view the works in new ways, inviting new connections and ways of understanding. With the prevalence of photography in everyday life, photographs have a unique ability to shape the way we see and understand the world, holding the capacity for social and cultural awakening. The photographs here represent vastly different time periods and locations, as well as a wide range of scale, color, and material. But each work evinces the deliberate choices of the maker and offer a unique view of the world. The term aberration means something different from the norm or something unexpected. We invite you to lean into these differences, relish in the juxtapositions, and bring fresh eyes to these incredible works. The first section, Strange Secrecy, begins with a work by André Cartes called Circus Budapest from 1920. I love this image, and I think it's the perfect way to open the exhibition. The photograph shows a man and woman peering through a hole in a wooden fence. You can't tell what they're looking at, but only can guess from the title that they're sneaking a glimpse into the circus. There's an obvious joy in looking that comes through in the image and the pleasure of catching something that you maybe shouldn't be looking at. In his introduction to the Americans, a now famous photo book by Robert Frank, the poet Jack Kerouac describes Frank's work as strange secrecy. It may seem like a contradiction to refer to photographs as secretive, but these works are selective in what they reveal. It is Frank's ability to capture the mundane, everyday ways of living and working that allow him to represent the truth of a place. And it's in this spirit of celebrating these small moments which hold the fullness of humanity that is captured in the works here, including a number of iconic works from Frank's The American series. Similarly, in this section, the works are delightful in the reflection of the day-to-day. -day. The skeptical gray-haired woman peering out from behind a cedar hedge, waiting for the royal visit in Bowmanville in Alan Dunlop's work, or the glistening bodies in Linda Ward Selby's images of the New Orleans Mardi Gras parade. More than showing us a place, these images convey the feeling of the moment, connecting us to its energy and expression. The second section is titled Trick Mirror. A trick mirror reflects its surroundings in strange and unclear ways. Similarly, photography can either represent the world as it is, or it can distort and bend reality. In optics, an aberration is the failure of light rays to converge at one focal point because of limitations or defects in the lens or mirror, making the image unclear. Here, the photographers have either intentionally manipulated the image or subject to reveal the deliberate choices of the maker. Many of the works focus on the body, showing it distorted for the camera, such as Susie Lake's Impositions Maquette, in which her body is bound with rope, or Bruce Nauman's Study for Holograms, where he pulls his lips into exaggerated expressions. Doubling and mirroring show up in Michael Snow's Untitled from the artist jazz band portfolio and Charles Gagnon, Men's Room, Union Station, Toronto, captures the repetition in their environment. The mirroring and distortion in these images further emphasize their subject matter and ask the viewer to make sense of what they perceive. The section, Shifting Ground, looks at the physicality of a photograph and how it is created. The ground of an image, like the ground underfoot, helps us to orient ourselves to the world and make sense of our place within it. It helps us feel rooted, 
like staring at the horizon line to avoid seasickness. In these works, the ground is shifting, opening up new perspectives and ways of seeing, as well as a wider understanding of what a photograph can be. Photo historian Charlotte Cotton has called photography a fabulously broad church to describe the ever-expanding nature of the medium, where in a short time, we've seen the development from analog to digital and beyond. Here, the shifting ground is both literal and figurative. Robin McKenzie's large five-part work, Continuous Digging Piece, documents a process of moving earth to form multicolored circles made from rock and soil. Works by Ian Baxter, Jane Ash Portois, and Dominique Blaine extend the frame or ground of the image through drawing, painting, and collage. And a number of more abstract works, like Barbara Klaus' Heresy Drawing and Thaddeus Helonia's Wall Series, disrupt the notion of ground completely, favoring flatness and texture over depth. The last section is called Ordering the World. In an interview with artist Mike Alexier, writer Sheila Hetty describes his practice as, the feeling his work has always given me was about the possibility of precision and perfection as an organizing frame for the vulnerable, untamable human element. Mike Alexier's David Grid is made up of 75 portraits of men named David, age one through 75, shown in a large grid. This categorization is both precise and irrelevant, and the work is a purposely feeble and playful attempt to understand something about humanity. All the work here similarly tries to make sense of the world through order and process, and are linked to methods of documentation and cartography. Bill Vazan's Georgian Bay carefully constructs a singular image of the landscape through calculated movements of the camera, where each negative of the contact sheet forms a part of the whole. Arno Mag's series, Werner's Nomenclature of Color, attempts to catalog the array of tints, tones, and shades of every color seen by the human eye. What can we learn from this kind of cataloging? What slips between the cracks of our knowing? How do we try to make sense of the world and understand our place within it? These are just some of the questions the photographs in this show elicit. Thank you for watching this tour, and I hope you're able to come see these beautiful works in person. What a beautiful exhibition. Thank you, Leela, for taking us through the space. You can check out the exhibition in person at the RMG until April 18th. And now it's time to check in and see how we're making out with our silent auction fundraiser. Drum roll, please. We are currently at $4,470. Thank you so much. The, we're going to check out another one of our pieces up for auction right now, currently right over here. This piece by Wes Peel, titled Bird in Hand, is a cyanotype. This piece is matted and ready to be framed. And in this piece, we see a dead bird and a mangled glove a few feet apart. Peel has placed them together, unlikely partners, abandoned by the roadside, dead objects brought together through metaphor and analogy. Peel has been working to hone his analog shooting and printing skills, and has rediscovered the joy, simplicity, and the unique aesthetic of 19th century methods such as the pinhole camera and cyanotype. With anthropological purpose, Peel uncovers larger universal truths about people and culture. You can get a closer look at this and the rest of the auction works up for a bid by visiting rmgfridaysfocus.com. I now have the pleasure of introducing you to our next musical guest, who recently released his newest album called Drifting. Featuring nine tracks, Canadian singer-songwriter Rory Talon's powerful voice takes you on a journey, teetering on the edge of darkness. This global pandemic has caused an incredible financial hit on artists, as venues close, tours are canceled, and physical products are delayed. So it's, it's really wonderful to see musicians producing work. Take it away, Rory. So 
heart's tiptoe. Times I just want to swim Wave after wave crash over me Hold my breath and jump in And I want to flow Take the weight off my hands and fall to the waves. I know what it feels like to let go. Vessel to hide inside. Sit alone and pass the time. This face and cutting words. Mm. Keep myself hidden behind the eyes. I want to flow and take the weight off my ears and fall to the waves. I know what it feels like. Take the weight off my heels and fall to the waves. I know what it feels like to let go. What's going on? My name's Rory. Um, I feel rude. I didn't introduce myself before I started screaming. Uh, <clears throat> that's a song off my new record. Uh, the song's called Float. Just in case you didn't catch that from the chorus. Um, and 
The album is called Drifting. Available everywhere now, online. <laughs> All right, this is another tune from that record. The song's called Alone. And it's a uh, social distancing anthem. First line is. Please leave me alone. I'll come back. I didn't mean it. I'll admit I don't know what I want. I'll come back. Don't you get it? Never quite so alone as when in a room full of smiling faces. should be dull by now mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. and please don't leave me Grabbing glass, let's talk through it. Complicitly captive in lovely, codependent. To make sure I keep on breathing So I won't ever make you alone So know what I did to deserve you But I'm glad I did it Cause I don't know where I'd be And I don't know What I'd be doing And I don't know If I'd be here Anymore Anymore
best day of my life in the world. I won't have my love in the best dress. The other had my life in the last. And I don't know what that means. And I have no symmetry And I don't know If I can overlook this anymore I can't find my way I'm surrounded by the stars even though you told me to be
sec um there we go would you mind slating no not at all hi my name is lily Bai, and i'll be reading for the part of victoria oh my daughter's name lily too really no way that's <laughs> awesome do you spell yours with one or two l's um mine is actually spelled l-i-l-i -L -I. really yeah <laughs> guess my parents wanted to be different oh <laughs> well i guess i'm more traditional <laughs> <laughs> You got a chance to look at the sites? Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, it's an interesting dynamic they have. There's definitely a lot going on there, yeah. <laughs> Shall we give it a go? Yeah. Um, do you have any notes or anything you want me to try? Well, just let's run it and then we can try something different after. Yeah. Um, do I look at you or...? At me is fine. Okay. Whenever you're ready. What the hell are you doing here? Is it true? Is what true? Don't play games with me. Did you do it? What's it to you? Do you have any idea what they do if they find out what you've done? What we've done? You wouldn't dare. Try me. Don't do this. Leave. You don't mean that. Now! That was great. Thanks. And you're off book as well. Oh, yeah, I, I just find it easier that way. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, let's try something different now, um, if that's okay, just mm. to play with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's play it that um, anything he says doesn't affect her. She's so far above him, she doesn't, almost doesn't even care. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, yeah, cool. whenever you're ready. What are you doing here? Is it true? Is what true? Don't play games with me. Did you do it? What's it to you? Do you have any idea what they do if they find out what you've done? What we've done? You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Try me. Don't do this. Leave. You don't mean that. Now. <laughs> Amazing. This felt good. Um, yeah, it really puts her in control of the situation. You know, you can really feel her strength. Completely. Awesome, we need more roles like this. Oh, couldn't agree more. Um, you mind if we try some other options? This was good, mm -hmm. but uh, great actually. But uh, let's try uh, something else, uh, you know, to play around with it a bit. Uh, try something different again. May not work at all, but just to see what we can find. Yeah. Um, I like what you said about being in control, and I want to take that a step further. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's play it that she has planned this whole thing because she wants to toy with him like mm -hmm. a cat, you know, like a, in a kind of uh, seductive way. Mm -hmm. uh, the femme... Um, femme fatale. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. Oh, and maybe uh, you could, um, only if you're comfortable with it, uh, I, I feel that she would use everything she has to her disposal in order to, to make him uncomfortable, mm -hmm. to get him off guard, you know, yeah, to yeah, toy yeah. with him. Uh, but only if you're comfortable. No, 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 I get it, I get it, yeah.
What the hell are you doing here? Is it true? Is what true? Don't play games with me. Did you do it? What's it to you? Do you have any idea what they do if they find out what you've done? What we've done? You wouldn't dare. Try me. Don't do this. Leave. You don't mean that. Now. Um. I can try something else. Uh, it was good. Um. I I just feel like. Like there's more in there. More. Yeah. yeah. I'm just not fully feeling it like I did with the other ones. You mind if we try it again? No. Yeah. Maybe. Embody the character a little bit more, uh, spoop your hair more that way, mm -hmm. and maybe um, open it up a little bit more. Uh, you feel a little stiff still. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, or maybe an even a little bit more. Really embrace the character, you know? She's the strong one, she is on top. And she's playing with him, really trying to make him uncomfortable with her power. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here? Is it true? Is what true? Don't play games with me. Did you do it? What's it to you? <laughs> oh, you're sorry. doing so well. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were doing so well. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it won't happen again, I promise. You're nervous, I get it, it's totally normal, but don't let it get in the way of the scene. You know? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Just shake it off like this. Try, try it. Yeah, yeah. Try it, try it. Yeah, it will really help you. It will. <laughs> exactly. You just let it go. Yeah. Um, mm. Let it all go. Okay, from the top. Let's run it again. Go. What the hell are you doing here? Is it true? Is what true? Don't play games with me. Did you do it? What's it to you? I'm gonna stop you right there. You, you're overthinking it. Re relax, you're, you, you know, yeah. you're so tense, just here. <sighs> Whatever you're bringing with you, let it go. Now, let's run it again. Um, what the hell are you doing here? Is it true? Is what true? Don't play games with me. Did you do it? What's it to you? Do you have any idea what they'll do if they find out what you've done? What we've done? You wouldn't dare. Try me. Don't do this. Leave. Please. Now! <laughs> Welcome back. It's time to check in and see how we are making out with our silent auction fundraiser. And the latest numbers are sitting at $4,645.
Thank you so much to everyone bidding on these beautiful photographic works. It's heartwarming to see a community come together in support of free accessible programming at the Robert McLaughlin Gallery. Behind me here is another piece up for auction. This work is an archival inkjet print titled Mayan Illusion by artist Tom Stevens. This piece is back mounted on plexiglass and is ready to hang. Sun, shadow, and a strong structural form are reminiscent of a Mayan temple, but this is actually a swimming pool at a Tuscan villa, spotted in mid-afternoon. Tom Stevens is an active member of the Latau Photographers Guild at the Art Gallery of Burlington. He is a past president of both the Latau Photographers Guild and the Camera Club of Ottawa. You can get a closer look at this and the rest of our auction works up for bid <clears throat> by visiting rmgfridaysfocused.com. The results are in as well for our online photo contest, so you can take a look at the website and check out tonight's winner. Congratulations and thank you to everyone who participated tonight in our contest, in our auction. You can check out the submissions on rmdfridaysfocus.com, as I mentioned. But we do have one more set of amazing music from the powerful voice of Rory Taylon coming up. I want to extend a warm thank you to everyone joining us for our first ever virtual RMG Fridays. I hope you had a great night, and I really believe community is essential for the arts to thrive. We are so overjoyed that you have connected with us tonight in celebration and support of incredible artists and their work. The auction closes tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m., so you still have a bit of time to claim your favorite pieces. Thank you to our performers, <coughs> excuse me, live stream and video technicians, RMG staff, and volunteers for your contributions to make tonight a reality. Stay tuned to hear about more virtual events like this from the gallery in the coming months. I wish you all a wonderful weekend as another set of powerful music from Murray Taylon wraps up the evening. Enjoy. Can bring myself to leave. 
Hello there again. Can't say that you've been missed. That cold touch from your hand sliding across my not sure Will you crowd in my mind and what did you do with the time you pull up a chair you have Kept your promise. You made it last. I'm not your scapegoat. I'm no guardian to your ideas. I'm not some talking point. I bleed, I breathe to shake my hand and see It's okay not to know It's not devastating to be wrong But interest only grows oh, oh, so. When the bias is challenged and the subject shares your skin tone, I'm not your scapegoat. 
freedom, no guardian to your ideals. I'm not some talking point. I bleed, I breathe. Just shake my hand and see. I don't care if you display pain campaigns to help appearances grow. Now face is a show to increase their profits and make you love them and forget what you should know that I'm not your scapegoat. I'm no guardian to your ideals. I'm not some talking point. I bleed, I breathe. Just shake my hand and see. Is this where we've landed? Another line to deflect, head away. Is this what you wanted? Anything to take the blame off you and you alone? But I'm not your scapegoat. I'm no guardian to your ideals. I'm not some talking point. I bleed, I breathe to shame.
Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks to RMG for having me. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. Cheers. Thank you, Rory. I always love listening to your music. Although our live stream has come to an end, the photo contest will be open until 9.45 p.m. tonight. Enter to win a beautiful photo print and a $50 gift certificate to Henry's. Don't forget to use the hashtag RMG Fridays Focused, or sorry, RMG Fridays Focused Contest. The winner will be announced this evening on our social media channels. The silent auction closes tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m., so you can get some more bids in there. And I want to thank you everyone again for a wonderful evening. I really miss the energy of these nights when the gallery is filled with people, but that day will come again. And in the meantime, the RMG is open to view exhibitions, and our staff is creating some dynamic online programming to keep you in the creative loop. Have a great weekend.